Hello and welcome. This presentation will be on the colonial Puritans. I chose the Puritan faith of the colonial period uh, because I think it is important to begin with the colonial period in this presentation. These are the Puritans that set the tone for those that would follow. Their devotion to the principles of John Calvin, sola scriptura, scripture alone, and local oversight of congregations, along with the belief that a pastor does not necessarily need to be a seminarian. They can be raised out of the local church. They still need to be worthy and educated in the Bible, of course, but their training can come from the local pastor, much like an apprentice in any other trade. For our colonial Puritans, we can begin with the Massachusetts Bay Colony Governor, John Winthrop. Winthrop worked very hard to keep the colony along the Calvinist Puritan path. He firmly believed that as long as they lived righteously, they would have the favor of God. And if at any point they veered even slightly off the path, they would risk the wrath of God. If they stayed on the path, God would smile on the colony, and they would prosper, and eventually they would be the builders of the city on the hill. While he most likely had the best of intentions, he seemed to have overreached on several points over time, particularly when a problem or challenge befell the colony. These were usually seen by Winthrop as God's wrath on the colonies for a lack of piety. So he would crack down on anything that he felt was aberrant behavior and try and rein things back in and get everyone back on the path. All of this did not bode well for a newcomer to the colony, Anne Hutchinson. Anne felt the spirit very strongly and she was well-read biblically. She was also a good teacher, though not all of her beliefs or interpretations were in sync with Winthrop's. When other colonists began to gather at her home to hear her talk about God and the Bible, Winthrop began to worry about the colony's piety and the colony's safety. Ultimately, it was Hutchins' strong will that was her downfall. She defied Winthrop and the elders and was exiled from the colony. Winthrop's own strong will would eventually lead to many changes in the colony over the time, changes that he would not have approved of. The Puritans were the first religious sect of dissenters to be forced into an evolution of their faith. Um, this is also one of the reasons why they're so important to American history. Eventually, all of the early sects found themselves having to change or split into multiple subgroups over time, only to repeat the process again and again later. This happens to all congregations over time they change. The larger the group is, the more difficult the change becomes, and the greater the potential there is for anger, frustration, and large dissension leading up to the change. The Puritans are important in American history for all of their early contributions, but also as a reminder. Yes, of course, as a guidepost to being a city on the hill, but also as a reminder that things can and do change. Thank you.